welcome back. Uh, for the more astute of you that may have realised, we're no longer in uh, the strong rooms. We're at Luke TV's uh, Pro Tools rig that they've got themselves. We're running a LE system, 48 tracks, and more, more than enough power to do what we're trying to do. We're uh, different plugins, but I can use the same sort of thing, uh, mixing like Oxford EQs for the ones in the Digipack. Uh, I've got my cams, which allow me to do the same mix. We are actually missing a, a desk, the, uh, but we no longer need that because we've got all our source audio and all we'll be doing is mixing. The only other thing I can think I'm missing is a cup of tea. Brilliant. Just putting the beatbox, a friend of mine, Adam, sent me across some beatbox last night that he did. We beat detected it, put it into time and uh, put a little bit of delay on it and it's sounding pretty sweet. Let me just have a look and I can demonstrate for you what we got. Move that into the whole mix and... We're not actually going for a physical release here, we're, we're trying to get it to a management company or a record label and we want to get their attention. So I suppose the easiest thing to be do is to turn it up and compress it as loud as possible. But there's the other side of that that suggests that the mix should be more musical, have more dynamic and be less linear. Uh, personally I prefer my records like that. But here, as we say, the first 15 seconds of what they hear is very important. So I'm hoping that we find something in between. I'm going to take my WAV, which is looking great, which you should be able to see on the screen here, um, and, and it is fairly dynamic with lows and highs there. And uh, we're going to increase the level a little bit, but try and keep it so it isn't really, really in your face. And I, I'm certainly looking for no clipping. The software we're using right now is T-Rex. Uh, it's version 3, it's the deluxe model, and they're doing some great things over there at IK at the moment. Uh, it's kind of, they're, they're calling it high precision mastering. Uh, they've got a brilliant version of the Fairchild and the Pultec and they've got all sorts of tricks and lots of very, very quick fixes if you're in a hurry. Now obviously I am in a hurry and I'm talking an awful lot to you. So let's have a look and see what we're doing. We've got Master One up here on the screen and uh, as you can see we've got our, our Ease My Mind Master here and our first, what we'll do is bypass it to show you exactly the difference we're making. So on bypass we're running like this. Is my mind. Instead you're leaving me behind. Now we look at some bypassing. Play this game. I'm thinking of you every hour of the day. But you keep pushing me away. I'm the fool for Again. playing your waiting games. So you can see what we're actually doing is we're pumping the levels. We're boosting the levels, we're EQing slightly, we're, we're taking a little bit off the bass end and we've brought up very, very minimal at the 20 hertz, just brought up the level a little bit. It's a little bit of EQ over the entire thing and we're pumping it. There's a limiter on there as well. The nice thing you can see here, you can actually see the chain of what we've got going on there. So we've got a, um, he said, if you double click on here, he says, it's supposed to work like that. T-Rax linear phase EQ on there and you can see what the EQ we've got there on the chain as well. We've got... What else? We've got the Chira Opto Compressor and two other things as well there. It's, it's, they actually build you these racks. Version 1, it, everything was in one go. You could see everything there and you could move them around. It's very tactile, it's very easy to use. And uh, you can see what we're trying to do is create a little bit more loudness, uh, a little bit of EQ. We've dropped a little bit of the bass off, raised a little bit of treble, uh, but still kept it uh, musical. It's, it's a good looking master now. It, it looks like it should do. It's, it's bigger than the last one, but we're not brushed all the way across it. It's not up to 12. Now, a good idea is we want lots of volume, but not so it's got everything squashed in. You still need space for where everything is. And uh, this is what I think we've achieved here. I'll give you a solo and give a demonstration of the different sounds. I'll start with the original, which is this one. I need you to ease my mind. And then we'll run with the mastered. I need you to ease my mind. Instead, you're leaving me behind. I play this game. Difference. No you every hour of the day. But you keep pushing me away. The drums are a little bit more punchy. 
It's a little bit smoother overall and just a nice EQ. It's the sound I was looking for. T-Rex has got lots and lots of uh, presets, but don't be afraid to get in there and change around. I brought the input down down there. This was actually master one. Now, I mean, there's the best part, I'm saying 40 or 50 different presets there in the mastering section alone, and they've got some really, really good EQs. Um, this was the sound I was going for. It's gonna be loud enough to get your attention, but not so loud that we lose the musicality in the space of where everything is. Work out what you're trying to achieve, whether it's shock and awe or volume with musicality, and then apply your effects appropriately. This is also a good time to add bottom end to the track, so don't be afraid to try different EQs, but realise that mastering EQs need a light touch, not an iron glove. So, I hope this has been helpful. Don't forget, whether you're in a professional studio in London or your project studio at home, Source Audio is your key. Get that right and the rest just falls into place. Don't be afraid to use your ears rather than your eyes. It's too easy to get caught up in the waves and stop using your ears. If it sounds right, it probably is. I'm gonna go away, send this out, and hope for a positive result. In the meantime, this has been Luke TV. Good night.